So we have a situation. The boat's moved. Well, sure as hell did. This is where the boat is now. The boat has been knocked off the stands. So the trail has been knocked off the stands. The boat shifted. Bushes. Fortunately, the stand, the uh, the stand in the front was down. It rolled across into the mud. So I got to secure it to the truck. I don't know if I'm going to leave it here. I'm gonna to have to destroy that bush. I'm not disconnecting it at this point. Completely ridiculous. I made a mess of the front lawn. If it takes it down, it's gonna take the truck with it. I'm thinking I'm gonna straighten it out. It's pretty sheltered right here behind the shed as long as the shed doesn't go with it. That armor video is just going to have to go. The problem is I think that stand is stuck, pressed and closed. So I don't know if I'll unbolt that or not, but here we are. A complete freaking mess. I think the boat's secured enough anyway. I don't think it's going anywhere. I hope. This is supposed to wind down pretty soon. Another 12 hours probably though. So here we are. A lovely day in New England. Unfortunately, it cuts out the voiceover too, so. Still windy as hell. Well, there goes the hat. Still windy, first order of business. We're gonna put this back on. This is the bottom bearing for the rudder. Rudder got moved all around. Working on the rudder. It was nice and safe while it was on stands, but now it's uh, having an issue. We'll put it back on temporarily. So, lost the roof to the kayak cover. Lost an arm of biddies. Cover's torn. Looks like we're going to lose that bush. That bush has been pushed out too. Move the uh, support for the mast. I strapped it kind of in the middle of the storm to keep it from going any further. Truck. So, what we're gonna do is block the wheels real good, jack it up with the jack in the front. That jack is useless. We're gonna put the tongue back in, bring the truck around to the to the um, kind of at an angle here, and pull it out sideways. All kinds of stuff happening. Your shingles all over the place. It's still raining. Lowe's 
now, get the anchors now, we'll let the wind settle down a little more if it can. What a mess. I can't believe we can push this 6,000 pounds of boat and trailer right around the corner. I can't believe this You can see the, the hill we have here. It's about three and a half, four feet. So my biggest concern was it getting down the hill. If it had pushed it back a couple more feet, boat would have taken off down the hill and I don't know what would have happened at that point we probably would have come off the trailer we would have lost it I'm sure at that point um, it would have rolled straight down the hill um, no idea how we would have got that out of there it would, wouldn't have stayed on the trailer there's no way it's not strapped to the trailer it's sitting right on it uh, it's on the stands on the trailer so you can see the mess that made again really close to it uh, going down the hill this is the best I could do at the time in the driving rain. I was completely drenched. Got the truck attached to it, sitting in the muddy front yard. Well, we saved it. Like I said, the rudder. I'm going to do that even before we go to Lowe's uh, and get some anchors. This is the first year we haven't anchored the boat to the driveway. Uh, that was probably a mistake. We thought because it was on four jack stands, it would have been okay. Previously, our other boats, you can see the mark there. We had them anchored to the concrete. Um, that's what we're going to do this time. So we're going to leave the truck attached, take the Jeep to Lowe's. I think the snowman's laughing at us at this point. The sun's trying to come out, but it's still, it sucks out. You know, the mast stayed up. I have yet to, I'm not getting under the cover until we put it back where it belongs. Uh, all the wood supports in the front look like they were disrupted. Definitely. Uh, have to check that stanchion, make sure that uh, nothing's damaged there. Looks like it can only push the... Yeah. It still sucks out. I'm just going to do this for the next couple of days, too, supposedly. It's not going to be very nice. Uh, for all you folks out there like Sailing Catalpa that we keep an eye on, Sailing Ron, Hope you're having a great time in paradise because this is what it's like in New England. So the rain's back. So what we're going to do is, because this jack is garbage, we're going to uh, put my floor jack, my bottle jack, a floor jack under there. We're going to bring the tongue back in. We're going to back the truck into the bush. The bush looks like it's gone anyway at this point. Um, if I get the truck going on an angle this way, it'll effectively straighten out the trailer. We'll pull it out, back it back in. By then, by the next time you see some video, uh, there'll be an anchor over here somewhere. We're going to anchor it down, similar to where we had the Bayliner anchored. And then, all that will be fixed up and all And it's raining. we got some cleaning up to do. And it's raining again. And the wind is never stopping. Even our alligators made it halfway across the yard. So we're back from Lowe's. I apologize about the wind noise. I can't hear any of this. It's on its wheels. All attached to the truck. And back in place. Get the mast moved back to where it's supposed to be. Strapped to the tree, pulled the mask back over, strapped it up in the bottom. I had a strap there last night anyway. Sitting right where it's supposed to be. Haven't put the anchor in yet, gonna have lunch first. The, uh, you can see how close the anchor from the Bayliner was to where this one's gonna be. We went and got some brand new anchors. Make my head under, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like it's just a frame damage. The cockpit's full of water, so I don't know what it's going to look like inside. 
The front yard looks like a war zone. Barrels blown all over the place. We went out to Lowe's, just trees down everywhere. Um, I guess the North Shore had feet of water. Uh, they had to rescue a bunch of people. The dinghy's still down there. I actually put the dinghy down there in the height of the storm yesterday to shelter it as much as I could. Hopefully, the, uh, I was hoping the combination of the hill and the fence would keep it there. Blew that right off the trailer, too. So. So since we've been living here for 17 or 18 years, the end of this actually flooded last night. That's the first, actually it's probably the second time I've ever seen that happen. So it goes, it goes to show you how much rain we had. Flew everything over, chairs all over the place. Another beautiful day in New England. I'm gonna grab lunch. After lunch, I'm gonna go under the cover. After I get it anchored down, I'll anchor it down first, strap it down. I'm going to actually strap it down. I always use chains, but that doesn't put any tension on it. The trailer is sitting too far back on the, the boat, sitting too far back on the trailer, like the original owner had told us. Uh, so there's almost no tongue weight. So I'm going to actually put a ratchet strap on, put one of my good ratchet straps on, anchor it right to the driveway. Uh, I can actually lift it off the tongue by hand almost. So, so much for the last owner knowing what the hell he was doing. So before I go out there in the crazy wind and you can't hear me, it's uh, gusting to 27 still. But uh, everything's been put back together. Everything on the outside anyway. I haven't been in it yet. That's the next step. You can see all the weights on that back axle. Just like the guy said, uh, the boat's too far back on his trailer, but it's gonna have to stay there until we launch it now. Put a jack stand under the back, just so it doesn't tip back. There's almost no tongue weight. But we've addressed the, uh, the tongue stability problem. Two straps, chained, two half inch anchors. Uh, it's sitting on the jack, which is kind of garbage, but there's a, just a slight amount of pressure on the jack stands. So, there you have it. So here's the first look. Um, that's been pushed off. I don't know what's going on over there. We got some water in it from the, the cover. Still, wind blowing everything around like crazy. Kind of scary. Nevertheless, I'm gonna go in and do the best I can with it, I suppose. not too bad this is a full day of work um, I didn't tie anything to the stanchions that's something that uh, that's probably not a good idea in this climate um, they're sitting next to them that one's torn through it's tied at the bottom but it's not tied to the top of the stanchion you tie to the top of that stanchion you have this cover take off well, I'll end up tearing it out or putting a hole in the deck so it sounds scary. There's all kinds of creaking and groaning and it's probably one of those 25 mile an hour gusts. Look at the mast move. Put the mast support back in its uh, spot. I got this piece here to keep these. This keeps the two snow load supports spaced apart so they can't take off so that puts the load uh, on the supports instead of the boat. I tried to keep everything off the boat. Take a look inside. Lots of water in here. Sorry about the video. Climb down in. Oh, well, the GoPro does in the dark. My son's had his uh, before all this happened, he made himself a little clubhouse up there. That's going to be where he sleeps. I'm going to sleep in the back. 
everything looks dry still. There's still a few things to tidy up to finish off. Uh, the vent hose for the water tank still needs to be finished. But all in all, we're almost done in here. And, uh, hell of a weekend. Time to go inside for a beer. Figured we'd come down here. We were at the marina last year. The Great Marina. Our dinghy dock. Came to check it out and see what the storm did to it. It's sheltered here from northerly winds. There's actually someone on that boat over there. Probably doing the same thing, checking it out, see what happened. Thanks for watching this episode. We figured we'd share our experience, even though this wasn't a sailing video. Uh, on a beautiful sunny day, I'd like to say this burn on my face is actually from sunburn and from us sailing all day, but it's not, it's from windburn. It's from us uh, being outside when it's 40 mile an hour winds and 40 degrees out. So watch us safely sitting on the trailer, anchored to the ground. Uh, that's probably how it should have been in the first place. But like I said, we figured 6,000 pounds on jack stands should have been okay. Uh, we were wrong. So our lesson maybe can prevent someone else from having their boat fly across the driveway and, uh, and come close to falling down a hill. So if it prevents at least one of those, uh, and it saves someone's boat from flipping over and becoming a big mess, then so be it. Our video did it. Thanks for watching. Don't put the dinghy down the hill. And don't put the dinghy down the hill. <laughs>